It's Pete from Cheap Homesteading and I'm in the woods today and this is the first day of wood cutting season. I started to cut this trail about two years ago. Last year I cut in the pasture all winter um, but I thought this year I'm going to try to widen this trail and then cut out all the dead stuff so I can haul it out easier and everything like that so we better get at it. Okay so this is the back of the property and there's a bit of scrub brush but there's quite a bit of dead stuff throughout here so I should have a lot to cut. I think I'm going to cut the trees up this side so it makes my trail a bit wider and continue on the trail up through here and cut down some trees. So I think I should get at least a couple cord just from the trail and some dead stuff near the edge of the trail. Wow, that's the first trees I cut this year and both of them went horrible. Uh, so now it's still caught up in the little stuff. Okay, so I cut down some of that. This area has like a whole bunch of dead ash. It's a nice big one there we're gonna cut down. And I've been thinning out the dead ash. There's more over there. So I should get a good amount of wood out of here, basically from trees that were dying anyways. <laughs>
want to show you something. There's a stone right there. I hit it. And this is the chain that I sharpened with the 12 volt sharpener. It was working so great. Look at that. You hit the stone once and it takes twice as much effort to cut it. So we're going to grab the other saw. So there's the first cord of the year, minus that corner. But, see, I don't want to carry all that over there. So uh, we're gonna make a new pile and maybe we'll make it just a hair bigger. Man, it seems like every tree I've cut today has got caught. That's a little bit frustrating. But there's actually some good dead standing ash near my pile, so this pile should fill up pretty quick. So better keep cutting. Should have brought my splitting mall. I didn't think there's gonna be any trees this big out here, but because most of the trees here are small. At least in this edge of the bush. Let's see how this goes. That went not too bad. Okay. I'll start here. I gotta cut down a couple more trees near this pile so I can actually get my two cords done today. I have unrealistic expectations for sure because uh, you know you start thinking oh I'm gonna get five cord cut today and then I'll be done and I can do a whole bunch of other things but it's unrealistic. So I'm gonna try to get my two cords finished up. Uh, so there's a few more trees over there.
I got done. I should have had two full cord, but I have that one and this, so it probably a cord and a half, I guess. Uh, next time I'm out, I'll round this one out and hopefully I can kick it up a notch or find a place that has a, a whole lot more wood that's closer. So that's about enough for today. Uh, you know, it's always the first time you're out. Uh, it seems to take so much longer. Maybe you're out of shape or whatever, I don't know. So um, hopefully next weekend I can cut a little bit more because once I get to about five cord, um, I feel safe enough that I can probably go start burning some brush in the uh, pasture. But I thought I can't start burning brush in the pasture if I haven't even started the fire. So there you go, I made her back, so you guys have a good one.